Mic check. Mic check. Microphone check. Go! Uh, 2020 is a wrap, bro. What's good guys? Happy New Year to you! Happy New Year to me! Happy New Year together! We family! <laughs> that was tight! Got the bars! Okay. What's good guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a short one. Um, just a heads up, today's gonna be a talking video. It should be pretty short. Um, I just want to give you guys a rundown on coming out of 2020, coming into 2021. Uh, what my direction is for the channel. Um, you know. <laughs> We're gonna go wash the lady and I figured it would be a good time to update you guys on everything I've been thinking, uh, get some thought from you guys, get a little bit of feedback because obviously this is a content creation channel and I want all the homies and everybody watching to feel like you guys have input just as much as I do and I want to do things that you guys want to see because that's the whole point and we'll do it together. So without further ado, ah, ah. if you guys are new here, my name's Chris. We're building my Mark 7 GTI on the channel here, as well as doing a couple uh, little fun adventure stuff. Uh, we do car stuff, fun stuff, cool shit, you know. Go hit that subscribe button, all right? <laughs> How about this? Quick test. Pick a number between one and 10. If I guess it right, you subscribe. If I guess it wrong, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Seven. Just look at her. Yeah, I'm so hyped for everybody that's new here. Uh, this is actually one of my first real car builds. I've had uh, a lot of unlucky events in my life where uh, I've never actually owned a car for longer than a year due to me falling asleep at the wheel and crashing, two or three of them, and totaling in the woods with one of my other friends who we ended up being friends out of us crashing. Shout out to you, Caleb. What's up, bro? I know you're watching. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, so this is my first real build. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like it for the new homies. Let's go wash her up. Cold start. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's dive right into it while the uh, the car's warming up. I made a little list of things I just wanted to cover and I uh, kind of want to keep this short and simple because obviously uh, I don't like watching long videos of people not really doing much, just as much as you probably don't, so let's get into it. Uh, first thing, let's cover what we're going to do moving forward into the new year with the GTI. So my plans right now, what I won't I won't spoil some stuff because uh, there's some stuff obviously I want to keep a secret and then surprise you guys because I think that's cool. But uh, as of right now, next video, I'm not sure what day yet. We're finally going to do the install on my uh, front mount intercooler. We got a super big, I think it's ARM is the company that makes it. It's a little bit thicker than a CCS turbo uh, front mount and uh, it's a little bit more high flow. So what the plan is overall, I want to move forward into getting a lot of the big things done and then we're gonna tone it back and refine everything if that makes any kind of sense. I eventually am on the fence about a wide body. I don't know if I wanna do a kit or not or if I just wanna roll the fenders a little bit and then just run like a really, really good set of three-piece wheels or both. I haven't 100% decided, me personally, because I'm still making payments on this car so I don't wanna, you know, you understand, I don't wanna hack it up and go crazy with it yet because it's not 100% paid off. But in the same sense, like I might as well send it. I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. I'm not trying to go with the same kit that everybody has out there because let's be real, there's a lot of GTI guys out there. There's a lot of Mark 7 coverage. So we're trying to be different, bro, because we do shit different. It's on the fence moving forward, but I want to get the clutch done because I'm still on a clutch. The I'm still on the stock clutch with a stage two tune, and that's yikes. Uh, so as soon as 
I have the time slash the extra money slash whether I do it myself or pay somebody to do it to get it done, we'll do that. Other than that, I kind of baby it. But yeah, obviously we're gonna do a whole new exhaust system. Eventually we are gonna do a set of three piece wheels. I'm gonna hold off a little bit though in case we do do a body kit and I find something different. So long story short, to set all that aside and make it easy for you guys, the GTI, we're doing everything. I wanna do everything. Like I wanna do a set of bucket seats, I wanna do harness bar, I wanna do anything possible that we can do in the entire car, which sounds, like to some people I get it, is like you're doing too much and it doesn't need all that, which I get, but like it's my first thing, so I wanna do everything. Cause I wanna learn to do it all myself, like I honestly do. Like the clutch and stuff, I wanna do it myself. I really don't wanna pay somebody, so I'm gonna try to find somebody. Actually, I, I think I have a homie that, he's done it twice and uh, he's he, he could probably give me a hand. So long story short, I wanna learn to do everything myself. Myself. That's what I want to do. I'm here to learn. I'm here to teach you guys so we can learn together. So that's why I want to do everything. I don't want to go like crazy, crazy and like get into a built engine until we get into the next thing I'm talking about. And that's taking a really big step forward into next year. And I'm not sure yet. So I don't want to give you guys too much information or give too much up. Um, I just want to shoot some ideas and bounce them back off of you. I'm looking at getting like a a next car. I want this car to be the foundation of the channel. I want this to grow from it because keep in mind, I'm not monetized yet. So there's not any income for me coming into YouTube. So go hook up your boy, support me, go hit that subscribe button because it really does make a big difference so that we can move forward with the channel and I can give you guys the best possible content that you want because this is what I want to do full time and I want to move into this. But besides that, I'm looking at another car potentially next year. I was thinking like springtime, but I think I'm gonna push that back. And I think I'm gonna wait until like next winter, if that makes sense, because then I can pace everything and kind of see how the channel plays out. Because if the channel, if it does really, really well, as things are going right now, and we moved right into being monetized, and uh, we get a nice establishment going, 1500 subs kind of thing, then yeah, maybe like late summer, ish fall we can look at getting another car but uh it really depends on everything going on in the world because right now you know COVID-19 we got everything going on that's just you know things can change in an instant so what I will say you guys let me know in the comments if there was something cheaper that you would want to see built on the channel oddball-ish let me know like I'm totally open to doing like a blob ISTI because keep in mind I don't like I just want to do anything but do it differently if that makes sense so you guys let me know if you got anything in mind that you really want to see that nobody's really done hit me up in the comments let me i'm not trying to sound like a hot boy like hitting all the basics but you know what i'm saying so new car you guys let me know in the comments what you're thinking on that um don't expect that anytime soon that's in the near future that's just how fast we grow as a channel and uh where we move forward because i don't want to trade this car in and get something different i don't want to get rid of this i think that's kind of a stupid move with the intent on growing a channel. I feel like when you swap, you just keep slowly growing as to when you have the more than one, then that's twice as much content, which I understand it's expensive, but if you make the right moves and you look at things the right way, it can be done properly. I'm ranting on, I'm so sorry. This is a lot of talking, I understand. Channel plans. I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm getting pretty comfortable on camera. I'm getting comfortable talking to you guys and understanding everything with it. And I've really been like behind the scenes, making sure that I'm paying attention to everything analytics wise, like what the channel is good for or as to like what you guys like for content what you don't like for content obviously what's stupid what's not stupid that kind of stuff so as far as the channel i want to be in the range of being monetized by like late spring i know that's like a stretch and that's a real stretch and that everybody might say like you're rushing it you're doing whatever and it takes time and i totally understand that and it totally does but like i just want to push it if that makes sense like i, I i'm not rushing it i'm pushing myself to do better and to move faster and like i said bro we do shit differently here all right god <laughs> i just want to push myself every day because like i procrastinate a lot of stuff in my life and i finally like a year ago realized that and I got sick of that and I really cut everything in half in my life and took everything that I wanted and anything I didn't, I stopped doing and got rid of. Like, I, I truly believe every day you should have a goal. Every Whether it's small, big, whatever it is, I really believe you should set like smaller goals every day so that you can easily achieve those goals. You just set yourself goals every day so that you can push yourself harder and harder and harder. I noticed that, like the more I set myself goals, the more I get up every single day. I do this for you guys. I'm, 
like legitimately grinding. Like I, I'm really trying for you guys. I want to do the best that I can. And I'm really ranting again. I'm sorry. I just love this. This is like, honestly, I love this. This is what I want to do. I want to travel. I want to give you guys anything that I've never gotten to see. I've never got to see in my life. I want to give that back. You know what I'm saying? Like I want other people to experience things that I have myself have not or things that I have seen and experienced that other people need to. I want to give that and share it. And that's pretty much my whole point behind the whole channel and why we do it different. All right, let's take a pause. Let's break this up because I got ADHD and I can't stay here for any longer or I'll tweak out. Let's go wash this baby and camera shift. Um, also, uh, turbo wise, uh, still running the, let's just cut that. Cut, take two, Act. As far as turbos goes, um, upgrade wise, I'm, I'm again being a little bit picky because when it comes to, like the turbo, I want to put a new one in, but I don't want to have to touch it for a while. I don't want to like be like, eh, that wasn't enough. I want to do it with a different one. Like I don't want to have to go down the road again and change it again, you know, like six months from now, which content wise, we, we might anyway, because we're going to send it. But uh, I'm looking at hybrids. I want to get something a little bit different that will last. I want to get something forged and rebuilt. It'll be a little bit more expensive, but worth it in the long run. And I think it'll be a good move. Dude, I love this car so much. It makes me so happy. <laughs> it's just such a good car. Like power to weight is perfect. Jesus Christ. I almost just got, almost just got creamed. Especially like when you're on a little mountain road and you can just dick dive and dodge through all the corners. Oh, miso washi. <clears throat> While we're waiting, uh, cover something else. Uh, video ideas. You guys, um, I already have like a whole list that I went through and put out for myself as goals for what I want to do for videos. But if you guys want to see anything specific, I always and usually take recommendations seriously as to like getting a video out for you as soon as possible. Because if that's what you want to see, then that's what I want to give you. Um, I want to do... Try not to look like a kook screaming at a camera. I want to do a lot more reaction videos. I want to like, as we're building this, I want to keep getting like my homies and my friends to give us uh, good, like, good reactions in the video. And once I get the clutch fixed, then I'm gonna like start letting people drive it and then see what people think. I only don't let people drive it because like, uh, I'm just like being a baby about the clutch. Like I don't want it to, f I don't want it to unnecessarily blow early. Is all I'm saying. So as soon as we get the clutch done, we'll start letting other people drive it and let other people experience it and let me like. Let them know what they think. I want to get this thing on a dyno eventually. May, like figure out what it actually makes. So that's like video wise, we're moving in a good direction, boys. We're doing good. <laughs> I just love it. Love it so much. If you like it, go down there. Put a, put a little thumbs up on this video. Follow me. That guy just saw me filming. I feel awkward. <laughs> the time is now. This is so satisfying. <laughs> she all clean, baby. And uh, the most debatable thing that I did not bring up yet mod-wise, um, I don't think I'm gonna go with bags. I'm sorry, but like, I just don't, I don't personally want them. I know that sounds like super, well, it doesn't sound stupid, but like, I just want to get like a really good set of coilovers. I don't want to slam it, but I want it to have like really, really good fitment, especially if we're going to do like a three piece wheel. So everybody in the comments, don't eat me. Just speaking my mind and being real with you guys, I just don't like bags. I know that sounds crazy, but just not for this. Anything else, probably. If I did like, I know it's the same thing, but if I did like a WRX, I would hot boy the shit out of that. I'd do a wide body kit, bag it, loud ass exhaust, kind of the same thing as this, but like a little more hot boy style. I wouldn't focus so much on like power mods as I would like just hot boy it. So a different car when we bring to the future, maybe bags, but for now I don't want bags. There's literally absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. They're perfect. The only, I mean, they have wear and tear just like everything else does. It. So anybody who's like, oh, bags, like, what if you pop a bag? Or what about wintertime? Like, yeah, I mean, they all have problems. Everything has problems, bro. You put coilovers on a car, you're gonna have problems either way. Ah! That's 
how I feel about that. <sighs> oh, little taste right there. Mm, shit. Alrighty, bros. That wraps it up. 2020 is a wrap, bro. For some, it may have been a bad year. For some, it may have been an amazing year. For some, it may have been nothing but just another year. But it's over. 2021, here we come, baby. Let's do this shit together, bro. Yeah, I'm so hyped. We're going up from here. I heard my echo and it tweaked me out. <laughs> Back over here. <laughs> uh, I'm so hyped for everything. I hope you guys are enjoying stuff. And uh, let's keep it real. Your boy's out. Peace.